What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, we left off. The side mission barrage is complete. Ready to go to a whole new area. Check it out. I haven't actually, like, looked at the quest. I should see what it says about all the side missions. I think, I think we're wrapped up for a while, at least. So if I go by journal, I'm waiting on messages from her. Go to Montmartre and speak to the dude. Um, Bastille. Cannonball at Montmartre. And the Bastille. Yeah, so we are as far as we can be for now. Um, but yeah. So, new zone. Hopefully we get some new enemies, because... To be honest, the uh, variety of enemies is starting to become extremely concerning. Come on, big boy. Is Mook Block just chilling? Need to find another weapon worth using them on. Grade 3 flame resistance. I don't know if I'm about to be up against uh, some like, big flame enemies or something. You know, not enough games do that. Where it's like, you know, they give you something to like resist flame or resist lightning, but. Give me that gear, or that item, and then present me with an enemy that justifies using it, you know? Like, I want to go up against that enemy where you're like, alright, I need to put flame resist on. I want to make use of all the stuff I'm being given. Doesn't happen enough. If Monsieur Marat is hiding somewhere in this glory, I would have to use this enemy. So that's strong enough now that I can just straight nuke even uh, elite type enemies. Yeah, I think we'll work on we'll work on health and stamina for a bit. I don't. That damage is just fine.
instance of a revolutionary spear, that's probably worth like 5,000 or something. 500. This mobile walkway leads to the depths of the quarry. I will explore the area and try to find a way to make it work. I was gonna fall off for a second there. Oh, oh fuck. Dead? Wow, no, but close. A 50, 58 of those. Like, imagine playing playing Dark Souls 2, like, halfway through the game or whatever, and you have just, like, 60 life gems. Not like the baby life gems, but, like, percentage health-based life gems. Oh, healing? Yeah, that's not a concern ever. Um, so there's a rest there. Some enemies here. I might as well hit this. Just in case there is some BS up here, or I fall. Right, let's check the, clear the lower area out first. There's a lever. Locked. I need to work in rapid cooling. Uh, the module that fixes it, because I'm doing it enough with my spin to win that it might be justified. Need a bigger heal on crit. <clears throat> like a level three heal on crit module would use that really well. And then I could drop the heal on parry. I mean, it's nice, but like, I do so much damage at this point that a lot of stuff dies before I get a chance to actually like execute a parry.
little asset glitch. A box there was supposed to be on. Box got destroyed. There we go. Here we go. That should work. Two. I mean, I could. Damn. 16,500 and that's not enough for a level. 18,000 now. Ooh, boy. All right, let's go to sell. You're only worth 2,000. <laughs> It'll give me what I need. Um, and yep, get that endurance up. Get the critical hit multiplier higher. Get the space stamina higher. Stop, stop. Yeah. Isn't this just like town? Yeah, what the hell? What am I? Something over here that now is activated. I couldn't get into there before. That still seems like it's the case, unless I'm missing something here. Yeah, like what? How? Jeez, I'm dumb. It's right there. Literally, there's an arrow pointing telling me, go this way. Oh, man. I wish this actually like worked because I would I would I would 100% take something that's just going to be a flat increase to all my damage that works 15% could you imagine if that's 15% damage that'd be so good For repair is good mobilization numbers go up the percentage goes down 13 83 out of 70 18 and a half percent not bad. I mean, if it were one solder, it's probably still worth using. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I mean, God, a hundred extra armor? Jeez, I need to see. I'm not sure how, how beneficial armor is, but from 160 to 260, that is a huge increase. So that was about half of a health chunk. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna properly test this. We're gonna Alright. No armor buff. Alright, a little bit past the halfway mark on my first chunk. And if I put on the armor thing. When they get to full, hang on, I'm not at full yet. Alright, do the big from above. Hit me again. Um. 
Maybe it's not worth it, because that looked like I went from the halfway mark to the slightly past halfway mark. I mean, that, that seems very minor. Um, what else? What else would be good? I need some, I need some good modules. Let's keep you. I don't know. What's a little bit of defense, but what does it matter when I can just counterattack and heal? I think there was a module that did a big increase to stamina at the shop, though. That might be a worthy buy. It's like 20. What was that? There was a health module. A big health module. 70. 40, so that's a 10% increase. Eh. Like 18% of my uh, stun build over. Fusion. This is the time window to achieve rapid cool. Boys, frost, during charge, at its lowest, at its lowest, at its lowest. Um, attacks blocked with a shield or shield special moves so has less of an impact. Moderately increases endurance. Mm. Let's check that out. Hmm. So that's a solid, a solid increase for sure. Um. Yeah. Okay. I think once I get over, once I, uh, once I get up to this point naturally, I think I'll drop it. But while I'm in the process of leveling up my stamina until I get like the three levels in there. It's probably worthwhile. Is like a miner or something? Not very strong. That's one of the big things I've noticed with this game is the, the difficulty scale Man, it is so out of whack. Is it it starts off it starts off pretty good. And then you just hit a point where you know, like, like as soon as you have one weapon fully upgraded, it's just like easy breezy. I mean, since I, I hit full upgrades, I think I've had trouble with one encounter. And it was the one where, what was it? It was like double logger guys and a buffer. Or no, no, it was the logger and then like, the, I don't know. It was it was that room in the sewer that I died. I think it was last episode. I think that's like the only encounter. And even then, the time that I died, it's because I was being greedy and trying to just run him through well, instead of, you know, just fighting. If I had just fought it out from the start, I probably would have been fine. Come in here. I should be popping this. Like this is. I don't, I don't know if we fought pickaxe guys before, but like. He just died. He died. It's like four hits, man. Mm, grade three longevity. Now that could be worthwhile. So you are worth eighty. Whoo! That's that's up there. I mean, it's close to a twenty-five percent increase. Let's see, I'm gonna do uh, uh, thirty-eight divided by four oh eight. Yeah, no, that's a 19.6% increase. Yeah, that's that's probably worth using. 
Especially if I'm not worried about the heal on counter. Let's let's go with that. Health endurance. Everything you could want. Actually, I might as well start upgrading all of my module slots. Um, you're a slot three, you're a three. Um. There we go. I assume I'm just going to keep finding, like, level 2 and level 3 versions of the level 1 stuff that I like. I'm just going the opposite direction of the thing. Seems like the easiest way to hunt stuff out. This time it's over for me. Princess was ransacked. I barely escaped from the guards sent to arrest me. I must disappear, and hope that things will one day turn to my advantage. In truth, the timing is excellent. According to my informants, the King is planning a coup de force against the Third Estate. I think it's high time for all of us to go underground with you. Once we're hidden in the catacombs, we can prepare a counter-offensive in peace. Does the Duke approve of this withdrawal? No, oh, that fool. He's indecisive as usual. Always busy dreaming about his cousin's crown. But I've prepared the terrain. He will let me do as I please as long as I serve his interests. It's very uh, ominous. I need to work that in after attacking more. Like, one, two, three, and oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, that was what I'm saying, man. I died. Lasted like two hits, he died. I need to get like half a bar of stagger and then do my spin to win. I am noticing there's a slight, um, there's a delay, like, see, like, all right, so move ends, one, two, three, four, five, six, like all that time I'm spamming dodge. You can, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. There's a, a delay in how long it is before I can move again. And that delay, if one's not careful, could get them killed. That just leads me back to where I came from. I mean, not killed, but I could. If I do it and then I can't follow up, because I'm like, dodge back, dodge back, dodge back, but like that's a long, that's a long ass window that I'm not dodging back, you know? Let's hope that's not the guy we're looking for. Version of the dogs. One, two. It, it looks like everything here just loops around. Like I didn't just put me on the opposite side of that wall. It's all. It's not much of a, a cut or anything for that matter. It made it so I could have come up on those dogs from behind. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a very inconsequential use of a, you know, passage, passage uh, open traversal mechanic. Like, oh, you shit. <laughs> Yeah. 
here. Oh, Y'all gonna learn. I wonder if I could quick dash out. Um, it's LB and okay, so. But the delay is still there, but it seems like I can cue that action up a little faster. Oh, what the hell? That's a grapple point. Something below me? Or is it meant for me to, like, jump off and then grapple up? I'm not gonna risk it. I feel like I'll die. I haven't had gravity in this game uh, do anything yet, and to be honest, I'm not too keen on finding out what happens. Hmm, there was some goodies up there. I have to go across to get those. No, hang on. I might be able to pull it off from here. counter. Oh, For me, dude. Nope, we're not fighting this thing without a counter. Not after that bullshit. That had the potential to be a really bad fight. Floating hammers, you know. Nothing weird about that. Oh, oh fucking damn it. Come on, go, 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 go. Man, I really hope the next little like that comes out has like really distinct level design. Like, I don't know, to me this everything 
don't know. It's hard to describe it, but like, I don't know. It, there, there's a lot of like blending that I'm seeing. Like everything kind of has the sameish look. I don't know how to. Monsieur Maras men waged a terrible fight on, here. No. This is not where I want to be. I do want to be there, death. but that's opposite of the flag. Opposite of the flag. I don't know how else to describe it other than like, I know when I was playing Elden Ring, everything, like everything felt really distinct, you know? Every room was its own thing. Every area was its own thing. You had huge landmarks to look out for across the horizon. And it, with Dark Souls, I think that's true as well. Um, you know, you don't, oh fuck, I'm probably dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that is what it is for. <laughs> secure moment there but you know you had a lot of distinction across the environment um and i'm just not seeing it here like i think the i think bloodborne is probably the weakest of the souls games at that um in terms of like talking about the distinction like for me personally at least when i think about level design in bloodborne how Early on in Yarnum, it's like you kind of have this samey feel as you're exploring, where it's like, okay, did I, is that the house that I passed? I think I think I passed this house, but I'm not sure. That is that's the same feeling I'm getting as I explore in this game. It's a lot of I think I've been here. I don't think that's a good way to approach your level design, you know. You don't want to give players a map and just be like, don't get lost, because that's boring, but want to have want to have level design that is distinct enough that stuff sets itself apart. Like right here, this 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 part that I'm staring at, this is good. This is all very distinct. Like a little bit of platforming, a little bit of path exploring and ups and downs and As soon as you get into the the tunnels, it's like it's the right tunnel or the left tunnel. I think that's the tunnel that just takes me all the way back that I was in already, but can't tell. A little. Probably just jump straight on this. run over here we'll kill that thing the uh, corrupted one usually right after you kill those there's probably going to be a spot for us to, to rest and reset I remember seeing the water so I know we are coming this way this is the right path Two respite module. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Lots of upgrade mats too, so maybe we have another weapon coming up soon. Find a gear to fix that. Ah, here we go. They barricaded themselves in this is what I wanted. The, enemy. the only way through is the hallway. 
Alright, so let's wrap up here. Uh, we'll tackle the second half of this zone. I'm assuming second half and not like one third. But either way, we'll continue on in the next part. So y'all stay tuned and I'll see you then.